G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews. I am actually cold tonight here on the north coast, New South Wales, so I thought I'd have a cold beer, which makes sense. Matilda Bay, established in uh, 1983, 80s were cool. If you grew up in the 80s or around the 80s, the 70s, the 80s, I reckon like, it was hard. But it was, yeah, different. Bro. Hazy lager. Um, smooth and easy. Sounds good. I'll get a bit close to this one, a bit personal. 4.7% ABV, 375ml can, which is what we love here on the channel. Coming in at a one point two standard drinks. A little bit of a spiel here with some information about the beer. Uh, it smells florally. Um, aroma is fresh, uh, what is it, bread and duck and something, I can't find the Ivy years and all that, you probably can't read it either, but um, look, yeah, what happened, look, I'll just have this, uh, I'm sure they're in um, Victoria, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, yeah, anyways, Matilda Bay, I'm sure it's a Victorian beer, um, silver cap, plain looking can with some boats and fishing oh, vessels good firm crack on the can required a bit of leverage there to open it obviously i'll tell you now guys and girls it is not gonna swear cold the lot i mean i've got the shaky days it's um very very cold here then again i used to love the cold you know it's funny when i was in sydney I love the cold. Then I went bush. I got used to the heat. But it was very... The winters were cool out there in the bush. Very unforgiving. Very chilly. Nice looking beer. Hazy. This prides itself on being a hazy lager. It's not that hazy. It's, a, it's not see-through like a lager. It's a bit sudsy on top. I got this from First Choice today, and I've got to be honest, I think Chur is gone. I can't find Chur anywhere in First Choice. Quick sniff. Oh, it smells like a lager. It's minerally, it's earthy, it's grassy. It's, um, yeah. Yeah, look, it doesn't smell like much. A hazy lager? Well, why bother? Do you just get lazy, uh, don't cold crash, or don't filter the beer, or... Anyway, not expecting much out of this. Not being rude. It's got a nice mouthfeel. It's got a medium mouthfeel for a lager, which is quite surprising. But hazy and all this, well, I don't really get a lot of that. I really don't. I don't get a lot of floral smell. I get a lager. I get a lager um, smell. But it's a, it's a good looking beer. You wouldn't go past that, would you? Not look twice. In my old beer cartel glass. Yeah, very plain. I don't know, the Matilda Bay is just a lager. I don't get the hazy part, really. It's, um, I don't know. It, it, I've had a couple of these lately where they've just been confusing. I jumped in, if you don't like a, a, to listen to a yarn or anything, you can leave now. But if you see this, I'd say give it a run. Give it a go. But, yeah, I'm confused about it. I really don't. On tap, would I drink this over... Aussie standardised lager. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I'll tell you why. For a lager, it's got a bloody good mouthfeel. The last few days, I've been um, eagerly waiting. Some application outcomes. I've also um, just, uh, just been a bit flat. You know? 
a few bills come in, and I just went, you're kidding, like, you know, you just go, really? Like, and then the gas, i got gas bottles here for the gas, um, you know, because i I got a gas cooktop, and my hot water's on gas. So I'm just with, um, oh, I don't know, I think it's L gas, I think it is around here. Yeah, and you only get limited options here where we are because it's pretty quiet. When I left Sydney, and I was just going to say, yeah, gas went out last night, and I went, I thought I had a second bowl, and I didn't. <laughs> like, in cold showers for a bit. <laughs> so it's, that's why I'm so cold now. I'm not sounding like a poor man, I just went, um, I just forgot to get the gas, and when they sting you, like 180 or 170 for a big bottle, bro, it runs out pretty quick. But when you have a warm shower, I try to keep showers pretty minimal, and, you know, just... Whereas some teenagers like to hang in there for like four fucking days. and <laughs> oh, You know, I remember when I was young too, I loved a hot shower. Oh, I loved a hot shower. And, uh, but the weather's there, it's cool. I'm all over the shop, I'm just, um, everything's good. I'm just, yeah, being busy and just stressy and just, oh, the weather's been so miserable. Oh, just... But, you know, I saw I saw a TikTok today, and I don't get on there a lot. I got on TikTok, and I saw, like, a, you know, one of the ones that's not a movie. It's like a meme, or just a fucking stationary picture. Then you got to swipe once left, and, and it was a picture of a, a gent who's about my age, about 21. And he, and he was, he said, why, um, um, you or just... I bless myself today because I could turn the water on and it'd be hot and I could have a shower. I could boil a kettle instantaneously. I have a roof over my head to protect me from the elements and I have a meal tonight which is warm and it's like, I don't want to get too deep on this but we just forget the simple things and geez, we take even things like just flicking on a PowerPoint or and I know what people are going to say, oh, you're fucking old, or you this, you that, and it's like, I think, again, I'll say it, and I have in previous videos, is life experience is just the best fucking thing. Imagine what you know at 40, 50, 60, and you could go back and relive your life without knowledge of the stock market and stuff, obviously, you'd kill it. You've loved you've lost you've grieved you know most people around that get on or, or you know at the blink of an eye you can lose siblings brothers sisters and I don't want to upset anyone but it's just loss is one of those things I lost a mate um 2019 and he messaged me uh three minutes um you know, after it was one of my birthdays and, and he messaged, sorry I'm late. I said, bro, don't worry about it. Like, <laughs> birthdays don't mean as much for you either. And he passed away in the morning. And at 7, you know, 7 to 8 a.m. and onwards, I was over there, you know, with his grieving wife and, and young child who was in, I think, year five at the time, four. Sudden death, uh, just... Man, like, tomorrow you can wake up and you won't be here. And I'm not getting paranoid. I just think, enjoy what you've got now. And if you've got something you love and you enjoy, just embrace. And you know what people go, you need money. Yeah, I know. I know. I, don't, I can't do any of my hobbies or some of the hobbies I love. Because of money, I can't. And... It sucks because I've got to catch up. I've got an old car and I've got to, I need, I need, I need tyres. I've got to get the bonnet done. I need new radio. And you know what? Oh, you poor thing. But I, luckily it's on historic rego. So it only cost me 60, 70 bucks a year to register. And, but you know, the tyres, they're old they got tread because it's not driven much. 
Older cars, I think you've got to get out and drive them a bit more. They like it when you drive them. You know, you don't drive them and they've got squeaks, rattles, they've got rubber. The rubbers get, you know, a bit dry when you haven't driven them or you just don't keep them lubed up. I don't know. Old cars, sort of. Old or new. Everyone's going to go old or I don't know. When I've got an XB and the craftsmanship on that, it's like you can work on it yourself. It's like a big Meccano set you can just like, or Lego set, you can literally just, if you've got a 10 mil ratchet or a 10 mil socket, sorry, and a ratchet, you're going to take that car apart. <laughs> and you'll drop the fucking, you know. <laughs> I bought a, um, I'll show it next time on the video because I'm going to get going because I've rambled on enough, but. If you ever buy tools or you need to buy a few tools and you're ye around your 20s, 30s, I'd say buy good tools and keep them. Get yourself a nice little tool kit instead of buying throughout your life 15 or 20 Kmart screwdrivers or, you know, you. I'm not ripping on stainless, some stainless is good, but I mean, you know, your good stuff, the blues, the reds, you know, King Chrome. Um, I have a socket set in there and I'll show it to you on the next video. I've had that since I was, oh, look in my 20s, late 20s. And I'll tell you now, Sid Crane is, yeah. And I just, they don't strip. They, they're beasts. They're just good tools. And sometimes you pay a little bit more for some things like beer. To enjoy and to last and to really give you value for money. Electronics is the biggest thing that's shit us these days. Mate, everything's just fizzling out. Anyways, I wasn't going to do this vid, but I did. And I'm glad I had a yarn. It was enjoyable. And I hope you guys liked it as well. I watched it and subscribed to a bloke today too. I've got to look up the name, but... I was excited to, um, he was riding a Triumph Speed Twin, which I like, but you know when, I'm tall, I'm six foot four, six foot five, so I'm tall, I'm the guy that goes into the supermarket and it gets asked three times, five times a week, can you grab that, and you know, they look at you and go, fuck, you're tall, I go, yeah, so it's bikes sometimes for me, I look like a monkey, oh, you know, on the back of a fucking camel and monkey on a horse. And yeah, but um, that's why I've always ridden larger CC bikes. That because they're just cool. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm freezing my balls off. Pardon me. I mean, if you see this beer, I'd say give it a run. Loose as a goose tonight on festival juice. And you know what? So what? Roy, congratulations on getting some beers too from Garage Project. Garage Project do great beers. I went to First Choice today and oh, I wish there were some specials. It must be a new manager or something in this store. And just no pink labels. You need to get the pink labels. Special, special, special. But oh, look, I picked up a couple of, of ones that I haven't done or maybe I've done them and I don't remember. Love each other. Take care. I'll see you at the next one. I've still got this out here from the James Squire review. <laughs> oh, the happy wife's got to be here too. <laughs> See you at the next one. Thanks for subscribing. If you don't like me, it's all good. Love each other. I'll see you at the next one.